But safety is not the only worry here. There are also concerns over accessibility. These treatments are likely to be very expensive. And there are some players angling to make them even more so. Just look at Compass Pathways, a for-profit psychedelic company backed by Peter Thiel. It sought and obtained patents to protect its formulations of psychedelic compounds, which already seems pretty aggressive for a drug that, remember, has been around for thousands of years. And Compass's executives seem pretty defensive when they were pressed about this. Do you really believe that your form of psilocybin is novel and non-obvious? Well, it doesn't really matter what we believe. Um, what does matter is what the US Patent Office believes, what the UK Patent Office believes, what Germany, what Hong Kong believes. And all of them believe that actually it is because we have the granted patents. OK, but we shouldn't necessarily trust the US Patent Office as an arbiter of good judgment. This is the same place that issued patents for an umbrella for your beer, a tricycle with a lawnmower attached to it, and a stick. That's it. <laughs> Just a stick for animals to play with. Someone in the Patent Office saw that and said, we've never seen a stick before. <laughs> Approved! <laughs> so take what they believe is important with a big pinch of salt. And look, it is not just the drug formulation. Compass has also tried to patent other aspects of what's often called the set and setting of treatment, from the room comprising soft furniture or being decorated using muted colours to the <laughs> subjects lying on a bed or on a couch or a therapist responding to things a patient is saying, <laughs> which is just the entire fucking concept of therapy. <laughs> It'd be like me patenting the concept of wearing a suit while sitting at a desk.